So today, I'm gonna to take you on a journey of something exceptionally special. I'm going up to a penthouse in the Edge Apartments, right? But this penthouse, in my view, is the best penthouse in Manchester, with some of the best views, the best light, and it's now come back on the market for rent. I've got exclusivity to go and have a nosy round, so come and join me. You, you know you're in something special when immediately when you come out of the lift, it's only you on the floor. No other apartments, a little bit of service in the bin area, but this is it. This is all your own apartment. Come on. I mean, initially, when you walk in here, the thing that blows you away is this incredible view across the whole of Manchester. And the light is just oozing in into this triplex apartment. So you've got hard wooden floors, light coming in everywhere, massive, massive mezzanine up there. And outside, I mean, look at this. This is bigger than most gardens and you can enjoy the Manchester rain perfectly from this outdoor terrace. Just look down here, right on the River Irwell, um, looking up across the whole of the east of the city, straight out into all the views of the city from just this one area. You've got sentry buildings here, you've got the Irwell straight below. I mean, already, right, this is just a fantastic, fantastic outdoor area. And when you go in, you can just appreciate what a great space this is. So the kitchen over here with the, with the dining table, the, 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 the breakfast table, you've got all of these different units and so a lounge area. Now what also makes this penthouse uber cool is even though you've got that massive garden terrace over there, you've got wrap around balconies like as long as you want, wrapping around this whole place. And look at this, you are literally, ready? If you're scared of heights, look away. Right over there. Perfect for high diving, whatever you might want to do. You've got great views there, the town hall, straight view of there, great northern tower, Beetham Tower, and then wrapping around here, you've got the Lowry Hotel. Any new constructions that are happening are just in the distance, not, over, not affecting the view. And it actually feels like when you're stood on this edge, you are over the river. This is the middle floor. So what you've actually got is downstairs, you've got more bedrooms and upstairs, you've got an additional living space, which is where I'm gonna take you right now. Just in here in the hall where I came in earlier, you've also got a bathroom, put a secret little like hidey cupboard, which is currently being used for a cloakroom, but could easily be a small office space. Let's go on that. Upstairs is even better. You can see straight down into the garden area. Brilliant, full of light, TV, and again, another balcony overlapping the last one. As you can see, this is tiered because we're here on the edge, going down there towards Blackfriars. But this is a fabulous outdoor space. You're gonna see all the way to the west, you can see Media City, Trafford Center, spinning fields, all the bridges. I mean, literally one of the best views in all of Manchester, making this an exceptionally special place. It's hardly surprising it's rented out to people like footballers or agents, because you can imagine something like this is gonna be a pretty penny. Now it's two bedrooms, so I'm gonna go and show you what they're like downstairs, which also come with a wraparound terrace all the way around this building. I mean, the light is just pouring in from everywhere. It's fantastic. So down some more steps, even though we're in a penthouse, feels like we could be in a full house. And we've got into the two bedrooms. In the, in the smaller of the two bedrooms, you can see it's a great size, goes onto the wraparound balcony again, and you've got a, a really decent size en suite uh, with a deep, deep luxury bathtub, great fixtures and fittings. You know, this is a great size bedroom. And then, of course, when you move into the master bedroom, you met with something really special. Wrap around balcony, huge space, just a perf perfect views over all of Manchester. 
ensuite bathroom, and of course, what you'd want, a walk-in wardrobe. I mean, this has to be, has to be a fantastic um, opportunity for someone that wants to rent in luxury in the middle of Manchester. But to get the real details on how much this is worth, what it will cost, and why it is just so special, I need to find our friendly neighbourhood estate agent, Howard, from the Good Estate Agency and the Good Lettings Agency, who are obviously representing this superb property. So let's go and talk to him now. You can understand why I was so passionate about this property. It has to be the best penthouse I've been in in all of Manchester. But to get the dirty details, Howard has joined me from the Good Letting Agency, who obviously is here because he's both got the keys and all of the knowledge. So Howard, wow, you know, stunning place. Just give me some of the details about the finer elements of this apartment and why it's so good. Well, it's a two bedroom, three bathroom penthouse at the very top of the edge developments, which is one of the most prestigious developments in the city centre. We're on the 16th, 17th and 18th floors here. Um, we have secure underground parking, 24 hour concierge, some of the best views in Manchester. Without a doubt. And this particular apartment really doesn't come up very often. We've probably let it three or four times in 15 years. So that obviously leads to the million pound question. This is without doubt one of the best apartments in Manchester. If I was to rent this out, how much would it cost me a month? It'd be 4,000 pounds a month. I mean, that is an incredible amount of money, right? That's a lot of money. But I guess for something this great, that has actually good value, isn't it? It sounds like a lot of money, but you're getting three floors here in one of the best developments. And that sort of price, if it was in London, you'd be paying that same price per week. Yeah, absolutely true. And of course, you'd be looking at London, not Manchester. So why would you want to do that, right? Um, so, so obviously, I mean, that's a lot of money, let's be honest, and that's for renting. So I guess the sort of person that's looking for this footballers, business people, maybe people relocating? Yeah, absolutely. We had sports people in here, business people, like you say, perhaps people that have a, a property in London, property in Manchester, and the travel between the two. Right. It can appeal to all sorts of people. Yeah, I mean, if you're paying that sort of money in London and you're working both in London and Manchester, you kind of think, sack off the London place and get more value for money here. I mean, it, it, is, it is incredible. And even on a grey Manchester day, you are still blown away with the views. I mean, just behind you now, I can see the, the Etihad Stadium, you've got the Arndale, they've got the, the, the city tower, cathedral, the, the, the square. I mean, everything is literally in view. It's incredible, isn't it? It's a real panoramic view. I mean, it really is one of the best views in Manchester. Yeah. Certainly one of the best that I've ever seen from a, a property in, in the city centre here. Yeah. So Howard, I've got to say, I'm in love with the place. In fact, so much so, I'm going to make you an offer. And I believe that you have to take every offer forward. Is that right? That's right, go ahead. Well, as you've not had another one right now, I'm going to go in at 350 a month. A little bit higher, mate. 375? Still higher. 400 pound a month. Add a zero and you're done. Yeah. Before the before or after. <laughs> <laughs>